Okay, so this is uh, my part two of um, my Man of Steel um, review. As I said in part one, I very much like it. I now want to focus on how this creates a DC Cinematic Universe. Um, everything I've heard, did, and this is something I don't like, this is something that counts against the movie, but not against the movie, i.e. as in I didn't enjoy it or I don't think it's, it, it's a great movie, but it counts against the movie in terms of I don't like this notion now that um, <coughs> that Superman this is this is this, the, the David Goya kind of take on things that Superman is now going to inspire all of these other superpower beings to come out of the woodwork that's utter bollocks um, there are great, great DC stories that need to be told. Um, I think before a Justice League movie, I, I really think before a Justice League movie, I do not want it to be um, World's Finest uh, and Friends. It, it's just going to be cluttered, um, horrible. Um, I, I know Hollywood can't. Some writers could pull it off. I, I'm not going to lie. Some writers could pull off a Justice League movie and have you be interested in all of the characters. Hollywood can't do that. They could barely, barely manage this Man of Steel Superman. Because um, as much as I like it, I still do say it has like some incredible flaws. It's nowhere near as good as um, the... If you read the Earth One comic or the Birthright comic, um, it's nowhere near as good as that. Um... So, it, it, but it's a great movie um, in terms of the uh, the actual film um, itself. Um, but I would not trust, um, you know, uh, Hollywood with a Justice League movie or my some of my favourite, most cherished characters and characters who are our own modern mythologies, um, who uh, represent something very deep and core in our psychology. These are heroes that um, their stories really need to be told. Um, I'm thinking, I have to say, first off the bat, specifically Wonder Woman. There are other characters, secondary characters, that I think are very important. Um, secondary characters like uh, The Flash, I think is very important. I would like to see, um, personally, them reboot Green Lantern, but with Jon Stewart, and come up with a, a kind of cool origin story where he's a, 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 a black GI in, um, you know, uh, some American war, um, and uh, the alien ship finds him, and he's got the will or whatever to carry the ring, and, 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 and he goes off. Um, to save um, so, uh, some other um, planet or something like that um, for now, uh, which would explain why he's not in the Superman universe yet. Um, but I think that would be a really cool, darker way of taking, um, you know, the Green Lantern mythology, even though it's not my favourite uh, mythology of them all. Um, I think Flash has to be done because Flash is just incredible. I think he's so he's so different from all the other superheroes. Um, you know, he's got these godlike powers, but he is a normal guy. He's a normal guy. I don't. I like Barry Allen a bit, but I like Wally West a lot more. And I think they need to do a kind of more Wally West take on the Flash, where you've got this normal, average dude who perhaps isn't even as heroic as we'd like him to be at first, but then the journey is of him becoming that hero, because ultimately he is a good guy. Um, and I, I think that is a wonderful story to tell. It's almost like, um, say, uh, you had that kind of thing with Dr. Manhattan, except... Um, instead of Doctor, you know, Doctor Manhattan becoming detached um, by being um, by becoming this godlike being, um, instead he becomes, you know, 
he, he loves it, you know, he's like, wow, I've got superpowers now, you know, like, what, what can I do, and, you know, stuff like that. I think that's a really interesting story to be told about the Flash. Um, so he, he, he maintains his humanity even though he's got those superpowers and becomes one of the most human of the Justice League because he's connected to both worlds. He can understand the vulnerability of those who see these now fantastic beings um, who can do all of this crazy stuff and he, he understands the fear that people might have of them. You know, so him and Batman could be like very, very connected in that sense. You know, like of these two humans, but him being a more goofy kind of everyday guy, kind of you know, um, uh, human, um, and Batman being obviously the dark, brooding, you know, um, paranoid kind of you know. Um, and I think you know to establish a Flash origin is important to maintain the integrity and the humanity and give us, the viewer, somebody to connect to in um, that universe. Because really, you know, as much as we say we relate to Batman, I don't think that's why people really like Batman. They, wanna, they say he's relatable. How is this? He, he's a psycho. He's essentially a fucking psycho. I mean, he's not relatable in any true sense of the world word. One, he's a billionaire, like how many of us are billionaires? Um, with cool cars and, you know, whatever. Second, he's a billionaire and when you think about, you know, what would I do if I was a billionaire? Uh, or I found myself a billionaire at the age of um, seven year old uh, seven years old. We'd probably party a lot and uh, we'd probably like get some chicks and you know, death of parents really tragic but hey you know, eventually you you grow up and things happen. And I, I, I say that from a, you know, I'm not trying to be cold. Obviously, it's always going to haunt you. But, like, let's face it, no one's going to become Batman because their parents got killed. Um, and they, especially if they're rich, they're probably just going to spend the rest of their life fucked up as a teenager doing, like, stupid things. And then, you know, eventually maybe uh, yeah, ending up in rehab or something like that. I don't know, uh, something along those lines. So he's not a relatable character. Uh, his neurosis, his, his, his mission that he finds himself obsessed with, and his, uh, he's a peak perfect human being. Most of us are fat slobs who, you know, sit around eating pizza and, you know, like, uh, you know, going out for a drink. This guy is a man who, who wants to reach the, the peaks of human perfection. That is not a character that, um, you know, is easily identifiable with. Whereas Wally West or, or The Flash is someone, you know, if people are given a chance to, to, to find out about this guy, he's by far, for me, the most relatable of the Justice League characters. Um, and the, the relation there as well, you know, is that we've got a guy who's just a normal guy who finds himself one day with incredible, incredible powers um, and the potential to do uh, great things um, if, if he puts his, finally, like, puts his mind to it. Uh, and that's an interesting story to tell. Um, and one that will give the, the Justice League the humanity it needs before, you know, like, kind of setting up for this film. But, having said that, the most, most important one, I think the central character that really, really needs to be done, the most revolutionary, the most radical, um, and one that has just a beautiful, beautiful origin story um, is Wonder Woman. I think you could make the coolest, and I'm doing it, I'm doing it, and I don't care. It's n I know, you know, as I said, it's never really going to be um, seen, but this is the time for Wonder Woman to come back. Because much like Superman, she's that kind of antiquated hero. She's that kind of hero we have up on a pedal stool that, you know, supposedly we can't relate to um, because she's so high up and she's so noble. Um, and all these idiots that DC have been trying to do recently, 
which just pisses me off is make her into some kind of femi-nazi um you know hates men kind of it's just awful it's like they can't just understand um a woman who's kind of like noble and powerful and strong you know that 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 twists their little fucking um minute brains um if a woman doesn't have like uh is scantily clad with big breasts and you know um has uh, nothing to say apart from what the typical male hero would say uh there's nothing really feminine about her apart from the fact that she's wearing the clothes of a stripper um you know th those are the characters that dc really loves that they're the ones that you know make sense this is what stupid you know little um comic nerds um are really interested in in terms of women just titulation and whatever and that's bullshit i mean you know have a bit of respect for your audience um and uh because they can't deal with the issues underlying wonder woman like some of the feminist issues some of the politics she's very radically political um you know this is a woman who uh you know whereas um superman's very much about american values this is a woman who's very much you know like from the beginning um uh, and, and, and especially throughout like the kind of Perez and um, you know uh, Morton Marston and, and all of these guys this is a woman who understands what it's like to be perceived as weak and she comes from a culture that was um, originally oppressed and um, exploited by men um, so she veers towards um something that Beatty doesn't like to deal with, doesn't like to handle. She veers towards dealing with the bullies of the world, right? And that is something that they find very, very... Uh, cause if you really want to kind of go into that, that's very, very political. But that makes sense in this bloody world we're living in now. This is the time for a Wonder Woman movie where she comes in and you know she she appears weak she appears like she's just some beautiful woman or whatever but she can kick these bullies ass and we'll be like yes you know uh that that that's the appeal of wonder woman you know um catwoman has a similar appeal but she's not quite as she's uh feminist in a, a kind of different way um you know like uh in terms of the uh very um she she turns all the strength uh, all those things that are considered kind of um very feminine into strengths her sexuality is used as a seductive method she's your kind of typical um femme fatale whereas wonder woman is not that she's just um you know w what she does that is interesting is she takes the um this notion of you know like women are perceived as more vulnerable than men and then the whole history of the amazons of them being oppressed by uh, you know um the powerful essentially not necessarily men but the powerful and um therefore she identifies with those who are also being uh, oppressed by those um powerful um people and she cares about them and it pisses her off if someone tries to you know uh if someone's um using their strength or using their um you know their uh greater um uh mechanisms of power or or, 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 or dominance or whatever to to oppress and subjugate uh you know uh whether it be a sex or um, a particular race or whatever so this is the time where you know one a woman can get in there you know and like be very you know a, a very political story where it's very grounded in this world where she's going in there and she's a representative of peace you know um uh, a representative of um trying to bring um some form of peace to the world and she can get in there in these situations and just kick the people's asses that we've always wanted to be kicked 
you know, uh, and do it in style and do it in a way where they're not expecting it because she's a woman, what can women do? And, you know, and that, that, that that's just a great, great, you know, imagery and story to be told. And, um, yeah, I, I just think that that is the next thing. Superman represents a certain type of hope, a certain type of, um, you know, uh, aspiration, aspirational quality. Um, you know, that is, his values, his just sense of morality is what um, most of us aspire to, just to do the right thing. Um, or, or, or at least we should aspire to, if not um, that we do. Um, however, Wonder Woman does something slightly different. Wonder Woman is there as that means to kind of show us, to kind of be this vision to show us that, you know, even those who supposedly aren't, you know, that powerful or supposedly, you know, uh, aren't that capable or whatever, that no, in fact, they have the strength themselves to fight these monsters and that, that that's um, all these evils and iniquities in the world. And I think that that's a ju- I, I don't know. For me, it's just a beautiful story. I look at her origin story, and I think, man, that is every bit as good as Batman and Superman's. It's every bit as malleable as well. It's, 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 there's so much playfulness you can have with it, and there's so much humour um, in her kind of coming to man's world, and, and like, you know, the great things about it um, the, 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 that she's been um, sheltered from. But then, obviously, then the discovering of the the, the things that are are not that great about our world and, like, seeing that from her eyes. So there's the humour element and then there's the tragedy element to it. Um, And and it's just a different story from Batman. It's a different story from Superman. And it's every bit as iconic. And they need to work on that. Um, And I do not like the idea that Zack Snyder is, is now saying that, you know these superheroes are going to be inspired by Superman to come out. No, that's not, that's never been Superman's position in DC, and it pisses me off that they're trying to make it up like that is. Um, Wonder Woman has her own story. Flash has his own story. Um, uh, even Martian Manhunter and, um, you know, Green uh, Lantern have their own reasons for being heroes. They don't need Superman to inspire them. They inspire themselves. That's why they're heroes. Superman can inspire us, mortals, us mere mortals. He doesn't inspire other superheroes like Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman doesn't need him um, to become a hero. She is a hero. She, 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 no flying blue man is going to make her come out and do like anything that she doesn't want to do or that she felt that she always should have done. The, the thing that brings Wonder Woman to this world is Captain Steve Trevor, uh, um, air pilot for the uh, Secret Service, lands on island, um, uh, uh, discovering a new uh, island that has been hidden from man's world uh, for an eternity, and she has to bring him back to uh, man's world where she becomes the emissary of peace um, and, and trying to spread... Um, and while, while trying to spread the Amazon way, but also trying to understand man's way and come to some kind of, um, you know, uh, you know, synthesis of, uh, uh, you know, of, of taking the best from both worlds. And meanwhile, um, there's a bad guy that she has to fight. That's, that's why she comes to this world. That, that's it. There's nothing to do with Superman. Yeah, and, 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 and it would seriously piss me off, uh, and I'll, I'll be seriously angry if that's the way they take it. And, it, and I feel the same about Flash, I feel the same about uh, a, a lot of the other superheroes. Maybe Aquaman can be found like that because he talks to fish and I don't really give a shit about him. Um, but, like, you know, they are different. They, Wonder Woman's Wonder Woman. And the, the thing that is going to. Um, make Justice League an event, you know, 
if they want it to be more than just a movie if they want it to be an event they have to make these superheroes have their own individual stories and sort of find some way of combining them into one world and I don't and my criticism sorry just to come back to Man of Steel is that I don't think this is really a good setup for that um, but I have uh, my idea um, I will be posting it very soon because I've nearly finished with the script and I'm going to be posting um, some clips um, which I will uh, I will talk to you about after um, uh, when I do but thanks very much for listening um, uh, sorry that the last bit hasn't been a, as much of a man of the steel review so I'm going to name this something else um, it's more like the Justice League what does, how does man of steel lead on to Justice League alright thanks bye um, subscribe if you like <laughs>